Well, the National Zoo is almost ready to reopen its famous birdhouse exhibit to the public. They actually just finished a $69 million renovation, and we're getting a sneak peek. Fox 5's Jennifer Delgado joining us live from the zoo. Uh, flying high out there, Jen. I saw earlier you, you met a couple, couple new friends. I did. You know, and I also made a new friend, a little wren bird earlier. I think you'll like that. Uh, certainly a special touch for you, uh, Angie. So here's the deal. We're down here, and earlier we got a sneak peek of the brand new immersive exhibits. There's three of them inside the new birdhouse. It's been closed since 2017, and since then it's undergone a $69 million renovation. Well, we're showing you some of the video earlier, and you can see inside here uh, there are three different rooms, and one of them is designed to be friendly for uh, even coffee farms. There's an area for the ducks, and there's an area for birds that are native to the Chesapeake Bay. So uh, bird population has been dwindling since the 1970s. Nearly 3 billion birds have actually uh, perished, and it's all due to uh, buildings, uh, glasses, uh, birds flying into these things um, at nighttime. And we want to talk more to the, we talked earlier to the curator of the birdhouse. One of the ways we can do that is by drinking bird-friendly coffee. And so how better to tell people about bird-friendly coffee than to actually bring them into a replica of a bird-friendly coffee farm? This is a really important message because a lot, of our, a lot of our visitors and people in general just don't realize how much of a problem, how much of a decline birds of North America are facing. So if you come down here, um, come down here March 13th, that's when it's going to open up for the public. You can immerse yourself in this exhibit and you can check out the three different rooms. One of them is a tropical farm. It has actually coffee beans that are growing there uh, in the shade. And it has that environment with the birds experienced down in South America along that migratory path. So if you want to come out here and check this out, you have to wait a couple more weeks. But ways that you can actually be more friendly to the birds, to live a more bird-friendly life, is eating bird-friendly chocolate and making sure you turn off those lights in the dark so the birds don't get confused and fly into some of those buildings like we see over time. But again, we got to take care of our birds and the zoo out here is doing just that with this new renovation.